Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. Today I have a very good friend's engagement party and I'm just getting ready to go out. So I thought I'd film the makeup I'm gonna do as I've not really planned it. I've got a couple of pieces here, um, a mix of high street and high end that I wanted to try. So I thought the best thing to do was to film a video for you. So my hair's still a bit wet where I've just had a shower and washed it. Um, the first thing I wanna start with isn't a new product. It's the Lancome Cushion Foundation, um, which I still really, really like. I prefer to use it with a brush. So I'm using a It Cosmetics brush this is the heavenly luxe flat top buffing foundation number six and I like this foundation because it's very very natural I find this is really nice when you want evening makeup but you don't want a heavy base um, and I've been really into this again recently I find since I've come back from LA I'm a little bit warmer in skin tone as well um, but yeah I just find this gives you a really nice kind of veil of product that's not heavy it still looks like real skin as well, which is nice. Um, you get a little bit of a glow. So for eyebrows, I'm gonna use the NYX Eyebrow Gel. Um, this is in the color Brunette, and I'm gonna use a Real Techniques eyebrow brush, or slant brush. Not sure what the technical name is, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I find a little bit of this goes a very long way. Um, the color match is pretty good for me. What I will say is you want to just dab it in and then kind of like take quite a bit off the back of the brush so that you don't have a really, really heavy eyebrow, um, so I just like to use this to add a couple of strokes, and I'm just going to feather this through my brows, and I'm just starting with a really, really light hand, and I'm kind of concentrating most of the product on the outer arch, but what I do like about this actually for evening is it's really long lasting, um, very similar to kind of like a brow pomade or something like that. Okay, so brows on. The first thing I want to do is just go straight in with a cream base eyeshadow, and I'm going to use this one I brought from World Duty Free, which is the Burberry. Um, this is the Eye Color Cream in Gold Copper, which is a super easy color to wear. Um, I'm not even going to use a brush, I'm just going to do it with my finger. So it's good when you're in a rush. And I'm just going to start applying that all over my lid. And these are just so easy to use and so easy to wear, these colors taking it with my ring finger like into the socket so I'm concentrating the product like just underneath the socket and then I just start to take it up and blend it up a little bit. I'm just taking a little bit of that on a little domed brush just to take some of that under the eye as well actually. I find getting eyeshadow under the eye with your finger is a little bit more tricky. Then I'm going to take a trusty old favourite which I've not used for ages but I love this so much. It's the Rimmel Scandalize Stick in Bad Girl Bronze. Um, again, really long lasting, really waterproof, and I'm going to take that along the top line of the eye cream. So smudging it kind of into my roots, all the way along the top lash line, and I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And I'm going quite high up, I'm not being too precious with it. And then going back to that kind of smudging brush I was using earlier. I'm just going to work that into the lower part of the eye. And then again, I'm going to take that under the eyes as well just to make it feel like a little bit smokier. And I'm just gonna concentrate on the outer corner. I'm not really gonna go all the way in. To about halfway, and again with a smaller brush, just kind of smudge that in a little bit. So it's always making the eyes a little bit more pulled out, a little bit more winged. And then rather than using black, I'm gonna take this pencil from H&M. It's the Color Essence Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Mighty Oak, which is a really nice, let's see if I can draw it right next to where my eyebrow was. It's like a really deep dark brown um, and there's a hint of a shimmer in it as well but it's very subtle so I'm going to use this along the bottom waterline because I want it a very dark kind of smoky feel but without using black so I'm just going to take that all along and I'm going to use that to tight line as well on the top and I'm going to pull that over the top a little bit now just to emphasize and this is actually going to make my eyes look large because I'm going all the way round and if you can see, I've taken it into the inner corner a little bit, so my eye becomes kind of longer as well, and a bit more cat eye. So I think I'm gonna do a Harry Flick tonight. I think I'm going to use my Tom Ford eyeliner pen, the defining pen. I'm gonna take the thicker end, got a lot of hair when it's just been washed, and I'm gonna go all the way from the inside. Oh, ambulance. So I get to there, and then I'm just going to start to make it a little bit wider. And what's so good about this Tom Form pen is you can go over any shimmery eyeshadow and it still comes out jet black. There's no kind of shimmer from underneath coming through, which I really, really love. 
and just perfect my shape. Then I go on to curling my lashes. So I've got my Shuemura eyelash curlers and I'm just gonna give a really good curl. Then I'm gonna take my Fairy Drop Scandal Queen. I don't know if I said that the wrong way around. Um, I'm gonna take my uh, three ball pin mascara and I'm gonna apply that to the bottom lashes first. I find again, this is really good for a night out because it really is very waterproof. So I'm gonna start with one coat. And I do want my lashes quite dramatic. I'm still contemplating whether or not I'm gonna put on some falsies. And then I'm gonna do a coat of that on the top lashes as well. And I've decided I'm gonna wear some falsies, but I think I'm gonna trim them down. So I'm gonna use a pair of the Natural Ardell Demi Wispies, which are these ones. And they now come with a little free duo, which is really, really good. So let's get these open. So I've trimmed the eyelash down to about kind of three quarters. So I've just taken like the first portion off. This actually makes it very similar to the Fleur de Force for, I think they're called Fleur Loves Lashes, if you can't get hold of those. Very, very similar. And I'm gonna start just by holding it kind of near. And when it's wet, you've still got loads of playtime with it. But these are very, very similar actually to the Fleur Loves lashes, I would definitely say. But they definitely just give me a little something extra. I definitely feel like my eyelashes, ignore the glue, that's going to dry clear. Literally, I think where I started the other one was kind of just over halfway. So you've still got time to manoeuvre it into place. And then I've just tucked the end in. So I'm gonna leave those to dry properly and I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go onto my concealer. Now, again, this isn't a new product, where have I put it? I'm gonna use a bit of the Clarins Eclat Minute. Uh, this is their instant like the perfect brush on concealer, brush on perfecter, which I think they still do. I'll link something else below similar if they don't, um, but I'm just gonna start while those lashes are drying. Um, I've actually gone kind of like a darker shade in my concealer at the minute since I've got back from LA. So this is O2. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this around. And like I said before, guys, I have become a lover of the Beauty Blender. It has happened. So I like the fact that once you've put quite a lot of water um, through it and then run it out again, it kind of doubles in size. So I'm just going to use that to work my concealer in. And I'm still so amazed how much I love this. I really didn't think I was going to get it. Going back to the smaller mirror again. And I think the trick is when you're kind of doing a statement eye is just to make sure you've got like really tidy, clean under eyes. So the next concealer was in my February favourite and it's the Double Wear Concealer, the Estee Lauder one. I'm wearing the light medium shade. So I'm gonna take it with my finger and I'm actually gonna use my finger to kind of press this on with first. So mostly kind of tapping it under my eyes because that's where I have the most darkness. And again, going back to my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to use that to really work it in under the eye area. So for powder one that's been around for a long time but I've only just really started to use and to absolutely love is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, I wear the shade like plus. Um, I'm so glad as well MAC now do their compacts with mirrors in and without that kind of clear pop out little um, the bit they used to have on kind of their top packaging. It's so much better now. Um, I really really like this. I find it very soft. Um, I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Face Brush because I want to kind of set the under eye area. So I'm just gonna use that, and this point's really good for getting into kind of all the areas of the, the contours of the face. Bring a little bit along the top. And I think because it's an evening, I want this to last, so I am actually gonna put a bit of powder over the planes of my cheeks as well. And then before I do anything else, I'm just gonna go back to my mascara and just blend in um, the falsies and my real lashes. Oop. I really need to get a straight desk that's not sloped. So I'm just going through and blending those all together. So for bronzer, I'm gonna take this one by Tom Ford. This is Gold Dust, which does actually have a little bit of shimmer in, and I've always felt like no shimmer whatsoever would please me in my bronzer. But this one really, really does. This is the Wand Ball Powder Brush by um, It Cosmetics. And I'm using quite a big brush because I want to kind of generally bronze up my face full stop. Um, I'm really, I really enjoyed having a tan in LA. 
um, and I'm really missing one now, I'm back in London, so. Um, I find if you're looking to create kind of a natural tan effect, you don't want to use a tiny brush, you're not contouring. Um, so, you know, I do take it quite high on my forehead, thinking about where the sun would naturally hit you. Um, and I think because it's an evening, that's when you can get away with a slight light reflection in your bronzer. Um, but I'm just kind of, I don't have a lot of product on my brush, I'm building up very slowly. But using it kind of into the contours as well. I'm also going to go to a fluffy kind of dome brush, um, this is a NARS one, and I'm also going to take a little bit of the Tom Ford bronzer, and I'm just going to kind of nestle it into the socket of the eye, just to bronze up the eyes ever so slightly more as well. So I'm just taking that through the top of the socket, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Again, it's evening, so you can definitely get away with it. So for blush, I want to keep the bronzy feel and go for something a little bit corally. So I'm going to use this blush by YSL. The blush is number eight and it is the Blush Volupte, which is just, smells beautiful anyway. Um, and I'm going to use that on, which brush did I use the other day? Where has it gone? I'm going to use my Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek. So I was having a little play with this yesterday and it's such a nice kind of pop of coral, like within a kind of bronzy look. Like I said, it just really complements a bronzy makeup. And I think to finish, guys, I'm going to go with a trusty favourite lipstick-wise. I'm going to use a Burberry one that you guys will have seen me use so much on my channel. It is Lip Mist in Nude Peach, number 212. And that's because it's one of those nudes. I think this is, like, the kind of perfect nude for me. It just really, really suits my skin tone. Um, I find it very, very easy to wear. And I find you can kind of pump this lipstick around the top lip if it was to create like a stronger lip line without needing lip pencil. And so that is pretty much the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, it's kind of bronzy, golden. Um, it's one of those kind of tones that suits everyone. It's really flattering. And I think it's a very kind of classic flick with, again, that kind of bronzy gold feel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, like down below if you liked it. And don't forget to check out harrymakesup.com where you can sign up for free makeup resources. So that's downloads from checklists to... Uh, beauty directories to worksheets with blank face charts everything to help you become the master of your own makeup so make sure you check that out as well and I'll see you guys soon thanks very much guys bye